This is what nighttime looks like across the globe. More than a billion people are disconnected from the electric grid, and they live in the less lit areas that you see. This, despite the fact that in most of these areas, it is becoming increasingly cost-effective to generate light from other sources of energy, like solar technology. Why then are so many people unable to benefit from solar light? This is the question I ask in my research. And to answer it, I went to Malawi and enrolled about 500 businesses in my study. Now, most of these business owners do not have access to bank accounts. What that means is that if they want to save money to, say, buy a solar light, they need to put that money away under their mattress or quite possibly carry it around on their person all the time. Turns out, carrying your money around with you all the time is not the most effective way to save because you're likely to make expenditures that you may later regret. And you don't need to go to Africa to know that. We've all had that urge to spend a little bit more right around payday when more money is available. So, I designed pricing strategies for the solar lights that are based on how people actually behave with their finances. As an example, I give the business owners in my study two ways to pay for the solar light. One, in which the entire price of the light has to be paid in one single payment, or alternatively, another where they pay the price of the light in equal weekly installments. So someone who chooses to buy the light on that installment plan is not forced to carry around large amounts of money with them for weeks at a stretch all the while having to fight that urge to spend some part of it. Now, this can be very impactful. I find that being able to pay for the light in installments leads to a near 70% increase in the number of people who can buy lights. This means that for every five people who chose to buy the solar light on that single payment plan, nearly nine people bought that light on the installments plan. My research offers insights to policymakers about how to design prices of products and services based on how people actually make decisions. Doing this brings a range of investment within the grasp of those who can benefit most from them. Thank you. <laughs>